All right, I'm back with another Destiny video, and I think I need to expand a little bit on the article I wrote today, which uh, understandably has created a little bit of a debate online here, as I knew it would, but it is something that a lot of people in the community are talking about right now, and that is whether or not Bungie has made Destiny 2 too hard now. And I know the immediate pushback here is going to be a bunch of people saying, oh, all you streamers and content creators and whatever, like you said Destiny was too easy and then Bungie made it a little harder and now you're all complaining again. Uh, yes and no. Um, first of all, I think there are different degrees of people complaining, how people were complaining, uh, and what exactly they were saying. In my instance, I have said for a while now that I thought the base strike playlist needed a little bit of a buff because it was just so stupidly easy. Like you almost couldn't even kill enemies because they were so weak. Your teammates would kill them before you could even get to them half the time. Uh, I also said that I believe that legendary um, content needed matchmaking because it wasn't really hard enough to need a match made team and it was annoying to do fire teams. That is kind of the extent of difficulty stuff I've said. I do know that higher, higher end content creators have said, uh, you know, the game's too easy, there's too much power creep, but that usually came with a, a kind of specific nerf list of, if we're talking about people like Salt and Greppo, uh, Salt and Greppo, like, you know, Well needs a nerf or Resilience needs a nerf or things like that. Um, we have also seen, you know, people have praised the legendary modifier on the campaign. People liked the negative five modifier on the Seraph playlist last season. Uh, these are all things relating to kind of making the game harder. But what Bungie did was this giant sweeping overhaul of difficulty in the game that I would argue has not landed super well in many areas. And I wanted to kind of just go through it a little bit. Um, Evie, what are you doing with your basket? I see you. Okay. So I will say there are many, many areas here that I think they have gotten right. Well, maybe not many, many, plural, many, <laughs> a normal amount. Um, some things feel perfectly fine or good after the change. Uh, the strike playlist, the changes they made to the strike playlist where they were going to have it so you're not like 40 power over or whatever, uh, they're just going to make it plus zero. So that wasn't going to be, you know, quite as much of a steamroll. That barely changed anything. That is almost exactly the same uh, to the point where I, I barely even notice a difference, especially in terms of like boss burning, like, you know, playing uh, a, a lot of these strikes. It, it feels exactly the same as before. I know they have modified two of the strikes to make them, you know, Lake of Shadows and Arms Dealer to make them a bit less of a cakewalk and they put in some mechanics to slow them down, whatever. Uh, but in terms of the overall difficulty of these strikes, that is not significantly increased, and I think that's been totally fine. Evie, are you chewing in your horn during the video? All right, if you hear horn chewing, that's Evie. Um, other than that, uh, I have no issue with the negative five, negative five uh, battleground playlists. I think these feel perfectly fine. I like the new battlegrounds. I think they are an appropriate mix of kind of mildly challenging, but also like engaging. Uh, similar to how the Seraph ones worked last time. There are champions, but at negative five, not a huge deal. Plus, we have all the new mechanics to deal with champions. Those feel good. Uh, the Legendary Campaign, I thought was fine. Um, I believe Legendary Campaign is set to negative 15. And for the most part, that felt totally fine. I know there were a few sections that tripped people up. I think fire team scaling is still not where it needs to be. I think that is still too extreme there. Uh, but generally speaking, I thought the negative 15 felt fine on the legendary campaign. Uh, one good thing there is there are no champions. So that means you can have the maximum um, unrestricted loadout that you want. That means you're not running into overload champions or barrier champions that are regenerating all their health very fast, uh, which is a problem in other areas. But once we get past this, that's where things kind of end. And that's where I think things are not in the best of states starting with the new legendary difficulty, which is 1830, and you are capped at uh, 15 under, so you will never get any higher than 1815. 
Um, this feels bad in a few different places. The ones I've seen immediately, uh, it feels very bad in Legendary Lost Sectors. Those are now much more of a slog than they were before. Um, they take at least double or triple the length, I would say, than, than they did previously. And that has come with no increase in drop rates on legendaries. So I have done two days worth of this. I haven't checked today uh, as I'm trying to wait for the rotations, but I have farmed them for my hunter and for my warlock uh, in order to get the missing exotics I've needed. I would never ever farm them <laughs> again uh, in the current situation they are with the drop rates the way they are. They are, you know, I had I had an okay time figuring out, you know, the exact loadout to fully maximize a legendary run of these, but like, I would never just do that again casually trying to find the, you know, one out of however many drops that I, I was trying to refarm for a specific item. I think they really need to dramatically increase the drop rates here, especially if these are going to be longer now. Uh, I don't think the 1830 modifier feels great in other content. That is now true of like the legendary campaign mission, legendary uh, Dares of Eternity, and there's, you know, Legend Nightfall. And then below that, there's only the Heroic Nightfall now. Um, 15 under with champions, with things doing damage the way they're doing. I don't think that feels very good and not just like, oh, the game is harder. It just, it doesn't feel good to play. You feel very weak no matter how much you powered up, no matter what your build is. Uh, it just, it doesn't feel good compared to the way it was before. I kind of liked being able to overlevel to a certain extent on, you know, Legend and Master Nightfalls so I could, you know, farm efficiently and things like that. I'm not sure capping things at minus 15, minus 20, and then of course minus 25 for GMs. I think it's minus 25. Uh, having that for all of those difficulties feels a bit extreme. Uh, and then there are, there are kind of specific situations that I think difficulty has cropped up that just feels very bad. The current Nightfall, the Mars Battleground they have turned into, an, into a Nightfall is a disaster. I hate it so much. Like, first of all, this was not a good Battleground in the first place. This was probably the worst Battleground that exists out of all the Battlegrounds. Um... The beginning, where there's the three points you have to capture, it takes forever. You have your idiot teammates, no offense, splitting off to capture these zones independently and everyone dying. Um, what they have not changed is the lasers will still one-shot you. I'm waiting for the world's first Grandmaster where everyone dies because they accidentally hit a laser and they go back to orbit. Um, so that that has not changed. They did make it so you have one of the beam, the beam balls in that one section. Uh, is up top instead of you needing to go get both of them so it makes it a little faster but the final boss room is ridiculous for a nightfall type situation like the point of that at negative five it was like whatever um you know this boss room is infinitely spawning ads but you, you can't have infinitely spawning ads in like a nightfall situation much less a minus 20 minus 25 master um grandmaster nightfall situation like they just, they, they never end. And then this one in particular spawns wizards. Like every, every time you kill a wizard, another wizard spawns. Like there is no getting rid of the wizards or getting past these mobs because they will just keep going forever. So you just have to kind of do burst damage. And then you have these, these everyone clusters up around the central thing where you have to dunk the orb, making dunk, dunking the orb almost impossible. Like this felt terrible on 1770 and like, or whatever it is, like, whatever's the minus five one, heroic, it felt really bad on that. Like, I was getting, you get one shot by the boss for its melee attack at 1770 without any modifiers. Like, you're just getting one shot. Uh, and then in addition to all the wizards and stuff doing damage, that feels terrible. And the people who, do, who are doing it on Legends say it feels like a GM, and people who are doing it on Master are quitting because it's that annoying. So that specifically... That Nightfall specifically does not seem to be remotely balanced for uh, Nightfall level content and is hard to the point of just like, nope, no thanks, I'm out, like I'm not even going to try this. Uh, the other issue kind of pervading all of this is I cannot figure out what is actually difficult now and what is happening because there is this very stupid frame rate bug where... Having a high frame rate, and high is essentially anything above 60, and like PS5 and Xbox Series X are 60 or above, 
uh, you will be one shot by a bunch of really random things because um, damage, enemy damage is amplified by a higher frame rate. The most obvious example of this are Threshers, because we saw Threshers all throughout the Lightfall campaign. Those rockets will one-shot you, and uh, it got to the point where in my second and third playthroughs of the Legendary campaign, I got to that part with the anti-aircraft guns, when there's like at least three Threshers flying around shooting missiles at you, and I capped my frame rate at 30, because I'm like, these missiles are tracking, and they are almost completely silent, so there's no way to really avoid them unless you were staring right at the Thresher shooting at you. Uh, and I capped myself at 30, so they wouldn't one-shot me. And they didn't, and I got past that part. Before I did that, I died many, many times just to that, because those missiles would one-shot you. There is an ongoing list of things affected by frame rate that is... The problem is, is like I don't know what the full list is. So I don't know in any given context whether I'm dying because something is just the damage is being absurdly increased by these frame rate issues or because I'm under power because they've scaled up enemies a lot. Like, I don't know the things I, I think I know threshers, interceptors, the, the cabal ground unit, um, hive tomb ships. I don't think fallen ships. I might, I might be wrong. Um, but definitely the hive ones, I think taken ground fire. So like I was doing the loss, the Lost Sector Nephelians Rest, and there's Taken Knights, and they shoot the little flames that go on the ground, and those just, there's the Solar Burn, which is 25% more damage, but it's, it's you instantly evaporate. Unless you hop off after a quarter of a second, you will instantly die. And I've heard in the past that those are tied to frame rate, uh, so I would believe that. And then there are just really random glitches, like in the campaign, there's one gravity lift that will just drop you straight into the abyss when it's just supposed to take you where you're going. That is tied to frame rate. I had to cap my FPS at 30 to get past that part because I died five times uh, falling into the abyss. So it's this frustrating combination of difficulty being raised to kind of an absurd degree in some situations. And then also maybe it's maybe it would be okay if it wasn't for all these like frame rate bugs just murdering me. And... I'm, I'm wondering if snipers or like Axion bolts, things like that are a part of that too, because things like things that are just doing a lot more damage than I would have ever, ever figured, which are one shotting me or two shotting me at like, we're not talking about master or grandmaster difficulties. We're talking about like normal difficulties here uh, are, are just absolutely destroying me. And then the kind of the part of all of this, it's like, okay. So this is a fine line the game has to walk between too much power creep, everyone feels overpowered for anything, there's no challenge in the game, and then conversely, you make everything harder, you feel like a weak little peon, and then everything is too far above you. Right now, the, like I don't, I don't mind enemies hitting me hard and like me having to play defensively and carefully as long as I am not getting killed by glitches related to frame rate and frame rate damage increases. That is what bothers me. On the offense side, I understand maybe ability spam was a little too high and they had to chomp down some of the cooldowns. And like, I think we've, we're still in a pretty okay spot for, for cooldowns and things. Like once you get a full build up, what does not feel good to me is the fact that now it feels like you essentially have to have an exotic primary because that has a 40% buff against red bars. Trying to use a normal primary in anything that isn't like the Vanguard Ops playlist feels terrible. Like, especially auto rifles, hand cannons feel god awful. Just absolutely terrible. Uh, it feels like you need to be using something like Osteostriga or, you know, something that is going to do significantly more damage for mob clearing as opposed to, I love to use, you know, the new Strand hand cannon, but it feels like absolute crap when you're going around in patrol and it takes four headshots to kill a normal legionary, like that that's not a good system. And uh, either red bar health needs to be reduced or I think all legendary primaries need some sort of buff. I put that on Twitter, it got 3000 likes. That does not seem to be an unpopular opinion given the current state of the game. Like I've almost been using my machine gun as a primary because that feels good for killing mobs with the recent buffs it's had, plus you can get a bunch of ammo now with the different seasonal mods, uh, as opposed to using a normal primary because it, it it does not feel like it's doing anywhere the damage it's supposed to. Like again, 
difficulty itself is not bad, but when it takes, you know, four or five scout rifle hand cannon headshots to kill a red bar enemy in patrol, like much less a har harder difficulty content, like that just feels awful. That is that is the furthest thing away from a power fantasy you can imagine. And it tells me that we have gone a bit too far in the other direction in a few places. So like, I know this is controversial. I know there's a contingent of people that are just like the get good people. And like, you guys complained about this, like reap what you sow, whatever, whatever. But um, I, I think it's more complicated than that. I think there is a middle ground here that we have not seen. Um, we've seen it in some places. I, again, I think what they did to the Vanguard Ops playlist is totally fine. I like the seasonal playlist, but some of these other things feel terrible. They just feel bad. And I, I don't know how, I'm sure day one raiding is going to be kind of exhausting, but you can still overlevel for the normal raid for normal dungeons, things like that. So that might not come into effect here. Um, but in, I don't know, 30 to 40% of the content in, in PVE, this is coming up a lot. So I do think it's going to need to be addressed and it's kind of an issue. So those are my thoughts. Uh, feel free to add your own as hundreds of people have on Twitter already. Most people do kind of agree that this is the case, but I guess, you know, we'll see what everybody thinks. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Take care.